in Yazi in those critical moments in history. Barney, when ma? Call for the study. Who's going to come out? No, it's a bad luck. Can we have the documentary, please? The English army is in Bangladesh. Your air force has been destroyed. You are surrounded on all sides. And if you don't surrender, you will be killed unmercifully. ऐसे में जनरल नियाजी की सारी उम्मीदें मगरबी पाकिस्तान में मौजूद याहिया खान और टिका खान से लगी हुई थी क्योंकि यही वो दो फौजी जर्नैल थे जिन्होंने ऑपरेशन सर्च लाइट का हुक्म दिया था चौदह दिसंबर उन्नीस सौ इकहत्तर जनरल नियाजी को याहिया खान का टेलीग्राम मौसू हुआ जब इस मरहले में है कि अब आपकी मजीद फौजी कार्रवाई से कुछ हासिल नहीं होता आपको इन हालात में मगरबी पाकिस्तान के रहने वालों और दूसरे वफादार लोगों की सलामती के लिए हर मुमकिन कोशिश करनी चाहिए मैंने अकवा मुत से दरख्वास्त की है कि वो हिंदुस्तान से जंग बंदी का कहे और शरपसंदों से हमारी मुसल अफवाज और तमाम वफादार लोगों के तहफ की जमानत मांगी जाहिर खान अपने टेलीग्राम में जनरल न्याजी पर यह बात वाजे कर चुके थे कि वो मजीद जंग जारी रखने के हक में नहीं याद रहे कि भारत मगर पाकिस्तान में भी कई इलाकों पर कब्जा करने में कामयाब हो चुका था जनरल न्याजी के कंधों पर अब सिर्फ मशरकी पाकिस्तान की नहीं बल्कि मगरबी पाकिस्तान की जिम्मेदारी भी आयत हो चुकी थी जनरल न्याजी का एक गलत फैसला पाकिस्तान की सालमियत को खतरे में डाल सकता था यही खान के टेलीग्राम मिलने के चंद ही घंटों बाद जनरल न्याजी ने सीज फायर का मुसविदा तैयार करवाकर अमरीकी काउंसिल के जरिए भारतीय आर्मी चीफ फील्ड मार्शल जनरल सैम मानिक शाह को भिजवा अगले रोज जब सैम मानिक शाह का जवाब आया तो वही हुआ जिसका डर था मानिक शाह ने जनरल न्याजी की सीज फायर की दरखास्त रद्द कर दी और बदले में ये शर्त रख दी कि जनबंदी सिर्फ और सिर्फ एक ही सूरत में हो सकती है कि अगर पाकिस्तानी फौज भारतीय फौज के सामने सरेंडर करे इतना बड़ा फैसला जनरल न्याजी अकेले नहीं ले सकते यही वजह थी कि उन्होंने फौरी तौर पर जीएचयू रावल पिंडी से रखा पंद्रह दिसंबर उन्नीस सौ इकहत्तर जीएचयू रावल पिंडी से जनरल याहिया खान का जवाब मैं मशवरा देता हूं कि आप इन शराय पर जनबंदी कबूल करें क्योंकि ये आपकी जरूरियात को पूरा करेगी अलबत्ता ये याद रखें 
کیس سمجھوتے کی حیثیت دو مقامی کمانڈروں کے بانی بندوبست کی سی اگر یہ سمجھوتا ان کوششوں سے متصادم ہوا جو ہم بین الاقوامی سطح پر کر رہے ہیں تو اس کو کلرم سمجھا جائے گا اس بات پر تو حدمی بیان نہیں دیا جا سکتا کہ جنرل نیازی آخری دم تک لڑنا چاہتے تھے یا وہ بھی یاہی خان کے فیصلے سے اتفاق رائے رکھے تھے لیکن جیسا کہ تاریخ گواہی دیتی ہے کہ یاہی خان کے ٹیلیگرام کے بعد جنرل نیازی بھی سرنڈر کے لیے تیار ہو چکے تھے جی بندے پہنچ جائیں گے تو اگلے روز سولہ دسمبر کی صبح بھارتی جنرل جی ایس ناگرا باضابطہ طور پر ڈھاکہ پہنچے جنرل جی ایس ناگرا کے ڈھاکہ پہنچنے کے چند گھنٹوں بعد بھارت کے ایسٹرن کمانڈنگ آفیسر جنرل جگجیت سنگھ اروڑا بھی ڈھاکہ پہنچے اور اسی مشہور زمانہ رمنا ریس کورس میدان میں سرنڈر کے دستاویزات پر دستخط کیے گئے جہاں سات مارچ انیس اکہتر کو شیخ مجیب الرحمان نے بنگلہ دیش کے جھنڈے کے نیچے حکومت پاکستان سے بغاوت کا اعلان کیا Indeed, interesting to watch this from a different point of view, isn't it? Our chief guest will be arriving shortly, and I would like to remind you all that this is an 80-minute play without intermission. The, the college canteen is right behind this building, so if you need to buy water and snacks, now would be a good time. Our chief guest will be arriving shortly. Thank you. 
We move on to what we came here for. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to an evening of valor, honor, national pride, and dignity. We are here to witness an unprecedented emotionally stirring portrayal of the indo pak War of 1971, a pivotal portrayal in a chapter of India's history, the greatest military victory that led to the birth of a new nation, Bangladesh. As we gather here, let us pay tribute to the unsung heroes and the brave souls of the Indian Armed Forces who fiercely fought the war on land, sea, and air to see triumph and freedom to our neighbor. This unique performance is a dedication to the saga of their sacrifice, their courage, and their unwavering spirit. May their legacy shine bright in our hearts and minds forever. Ladies and gentlemen, feel free to show your appreciation with thunderous applause and don't hold back your emotions, whether you shed tears of pride, empathy, or joy during the play. Let your heart be moved and your spirit lifted. Let us make this an unforgettable experience together. Presenting Operation Vijaya 1971, Birth of Bangladesh. Volunteers to please move the podium.
পূর্বে আদেশ হানি ছে বাজ শহীদের সেনারা সাজ দিকে দিকে চলে কুচকাওয়াজ বলবে নিদ মহল Are you local? You need not tell me, sir. This Omar knows. You are from India? Not only that. Madam, silk sari, nose ring, earring, madrasi. <laughs> you are here during the biggest Utsav for us. We are celebrating Vijay Divas. We are celebrating our liberation. Liberation from whom you are going to ask? Omar Jani. Liberation from Pakistan. Liberation from slavery and tyranny. You may not believe me, sir, but 50 years ago, this very road ran red with blood. <laughs> Madrasi, how will you know? Don't tell me, sir. This Omar knows. You are here for shopping? Bangladesh has the cheapest Muslim silk sari, pink pearl jewelry for madam, world famous people party mattress for chap. Are ki chahe? What do you want? How can we help? A spade. A spade? You know? I need to dig. And to dig, I need a spade. Okay, no matter. No, sir, wait, sir, wait, wait, wait. I will get you a new spade. Eh? Eh? Yeah, sure. So, what are you digging for, sir? History. History? What, sir? Is this milestone 10 from Dhaka? The place you always talk about? That will be 400 Taka, madam. <laughs> so, what is sir doing, madam? All right. All right, keep working. Sir, this is your grandfather property. You cannot dig here, sir. Sir, please leave, sir. All right. You cannot be digging here as if it is your garden. Sir. Omar knows nothing, sir. Ami Jani na. Who are you? 
Where is your passport? <laughs> the last time I was here, nobody asked me for my passport. <gasps> you are in Bangladesh without a passport? You thought he was mad, sir? Turns out he's a big time criminal. Criminal? <laughs> he has been called many things by many people, but never a criminal. Uh, what has he been called? Uh, a dreamer, a warrior. A veteran, but above all, a patriot. Patriot? Kya? Did you defend your country in some big war? Not just mine, yours. Hey. Sajjad, Professor Sajjad? <laughs> Professor Sajjad, you are still around? Is it really you? Uh-huh. <laughs> what is happening here? Sajjad sir, this man is digging our property like he owns it. You are an elder of our community. Instead of stopping him, you are hugging him? What the hell is wrong with you? Mohammed sir, I would have perished along with the rest of our country if not for this Indian here and others like him. Sajjad sir, who is this Indian? Colonel Krishna Swami, an honorable officer of the Indian Army. 1971? The Bangladesh War of Independence? That's Colonel Krishna Swami. That Indian officer. Omar Dane, sir. My father was honorably buried because of him, sir. If it were not for him, the vultures would have fed on my father, sir. If not for him and the Indian armed forces, we would not be standing here today. I found it. If not for him, I wouldn't be standing here today. Who, sir? Colonel Krish Bahadur, sir's rifleman in his MMG group, Lance Naik Fareed Abdullah. Lance Naik Fareed Abdullah, Zarina's husband. He took the bullet meant for my husband. This is where we laid him to rest. My John, it's been 50 years since you left us. I wish I had said goodbye with a smiling face. Our five months together were the best days of my life. This is your grandson, Abdul. We have come here to honor you with your 1971 Sangram medal. You will be proud to know that Abdul is planning to join the officer's training academy this year. You always said that a good officer would be more than a father to his men. always said that I would understand someday. I understand now. Huzoor, forgive me. There are names that must be etched in the memory of my people and yours, never to be forgotten.
with your permission i will tell you a story a story in which i too played a small part a story of heroism and sacrifice a story of the birth of the land we now celebrate as bangladesh chati to me amar jibone chati to me amar morone chati to me amar jibone chati to me amar morone tum chati de chati de शादी रे शादी रे शादी तुम मारती बाने शादी तुम मारोने for 24 years after the british left general elections have never been held in pakistan this time general election is held awami league you have got a great victory is this really happening did we really win sheikh mujibur rahman bonga bandhu you have managed a miracle that no one thought possible this year 1971 will be etched in the memory of every bengali 169 seats allotted to east pakistan in the 300 member pakistan national assembly and you have led our awami league to win 167 seats and now we have the majority to form the government by ourselves we really don't know how to thank you bangabandhu dhanyawad dhanyawad but it is not as though i am the only reason each and every one of you every bengali hindu every pakistani christian every musliman each one of you is responsible for this historic victory bonga bandhu will we be able to implement whatever we have promised the people <laughs> of course abu your second son mushtaq is graduating this year is he not he will now be able to get a job with the federal civil services and your daughter maimuna can now do medicine abu bhunga bandhu you remember their names <laughs> i never forget a face or a name once i have met someone we will bridge the 1000 miles that separate east and west pakistan our six point plan will see roads built our produce exported industries developed and the revenue that we generate will be used for the welfare of all our people hmm. captain said your wife is from a bengali family is she not your wife and children will be very happy that the awami league has won their dream is my dream we will be fair to all my greatest strength is my love for our people and my greatest weakness <laughs> is that i love them too much far too much captain said you look worried is anything wrong we interrupt our regular program for this flash news bulletin sheikh mujibur rahman leader of the awami league will not be able to assume office the military junta led by field marshal ayub khan has refused to transfer power the first meeting of the national assembly scheduled to meet in dhaka on 3rd march has been indefinitely postponed by president yahya khan additional troops are being flown in from west pakistan to support the eastern command of the pakistani army arms 
ammunition and military supplies from Karachi are being unloaded from naval ships in Chittagong Harbor. The Pakistani military is preparing for a crackdown. This may be my last address to you. This time, our struggle is for our freedom. This time, our struggle is for our independence. We know how to sacrifice our life. Nobody, I repeat, nobody can stop us. I call upon the people of Bangladesh, wherever you are, and with whatever you have, to resist the army of occupation to the very last. Your fight must go on until the last soldier of the Pakistan Occupation Army is expelled from the soil of Bangladesh. Joy Bangla! Joy Bangla! Joy Bangladesh! On 25th March, Martial law was declared. Before dawn, on 26th March 1971, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman was arrested without charges from his house in Dhaka in East Pakistan, flown to West Pakistan, and kept under heavy guard in solitary confinement. <laughs> Zarina, my officers are here. Vama. Welcome to our home, sirs. This is Lieutenant Colonel Nair. This is Captain Nirmal Singhira. And this is Major Krish Bahadur. He is more than a father to me. We were expecting you at the wedding itself. We wanted to come, but we could not. There have been some developments in East Pakistan. Fareed, Zarina, before I forget, this is the gift my wife Vijay has sent for you. Thank you, sir. Please sit. My wife, uh, Sulo, personally picked this and sent it for you and Zarina with her blessing Thank and you. love. Thank you. <laughs> Captain Hira. Yes, sir. Just because you operate radios, you need not always be walking around with a transistor radio. Oh, congratulations, Benji. What is it? 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 Captain Hira, I am married. Lieutenant Colonel Nair is married. Now even our rifleman Farid is married. You too will never get married until you stop hugging that transistor radio. Uh, Major Chris, I am married too. Are? Why so shocked? Uh, 
as if you're only married to your wife, huh? Oi. What do you mean, sir? Are boss? We are first married to our country, no? <laughs> <laughs> sir, what is the development in East Pakistan? Not so good. We just came back after doing a round of the refugee camps. After seeing, after seeing the pitiable state in which these refugees come to us, I feel, I feel guilty to even, to even eat this biscuit. Operation Searchlight. Operation, Operation Searchlight. Coal Cold 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 made for a generous Kill three million of them, of them. And, the rest and the rest of the eat out of our hands, says President, President Yaya Khan. Yaya Khan. They are working day and night to achieve their gory target. First, the army sets fire to the houses of slum dwellers. And then, when they come out, half burnt, running on the streets in panic, the army shoots them down for violating their own curfew order. Lieutenant General Tikka Khan has been slaughtering hundreds of thousands of Bengali people in East Pakistan, civilians and unarmed. Do you know what he's called now? Butcher of Bengal. The Razakers and the bloody Pakistani army Sorry. are massacring Bengali professionals, politicians, intellectuals, and students. Villagers are burning, rivers running red. Anyone with a voice is being silenced. Thousands of Bengali women are being raped. But all this is happening in East Pakistan, no? How does it affect us? To save their lives, people are fleeing. More than 10 million men, women and children have fled their homes and have come to our country as refugees. This is growing day by day. 10 million refugees? What are we doing about it, sir? The Prime Minister Hersel has called our general to attend a meeting of our cabinet. 10 million refugees? Sir, shall I cut short leave and rejoin duty? <laughs> Fareed, you're newly married. Spend some time with your wife. For now, the army can wait. But isn't this a problem for East Pakistan? Why must India get involved? Good question, Ma. If your neighbor's house is on fire, will you just watch it burn? Will you not rush to put out the flames and save him and his family? This is nothing different. India's, India's neighbor, neighbor is burning. burning. And we, and we have, have to put out the flames. War, War against, against an aggressor or relief work during a time of national calamity. calamity. Peacekeeping, Peacekeeping work, work in a foreign land. land. Or saving, or saving innocent, innocent sailors, sailors, sailors from pirates. From pirates. To help, to help the distress when called upon is a soldier's duty, even, even if it means his own, his own life. life. Meanwhile, refugees begin trickling into India. The widespread genocide resulting from Operation Searchlight leads to approximately 10 million people fleeing East Pakistan and taking refuge in the neighboring Indian states of West Bengal, Bihar, Assam, Meghalaya, and Tripura. India spends several crores a day on food, shelter, and medical attention of the refugees.
huzur, huzur. Oh, I'm such a, a poor example of huzur. Who is this? Where ma, are you running from? Ma, 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 my wife and my daughter huzur. We, we, we are coming from Dhaka. Your wife? She talks too much. You have not taught her how to respect men. I'll respect the man when I see one. You are coward, you're not men. Please. <laughs> Please be quiet, please be quiet. Huzur, Huzur, we are not letting you. We are not allowed. Please manners, please manners, Huzur. You are running to India, right? We will send you on your head. Huzur, please let us go. Allah will show you mercy, will be victorious, Huzur. Please let us go. You will have forgotten Allah. Be merciful, the venerable Allah, shall we go? Hello, look strong, and we need labor. <laughs> will cover the other items of the agenda in our next cabinet meeting. I particularly thank the Chief of Army Staff, Sam Maneksha, for joining us. That will be all. Sam Bahadur, could you stay back, please? I need to speak with you. I am a little shell-shocked, Madam Prime Minister. Sam Bahadur Maneksha, you shell-shocked? Why, Sam? Firstly, that you invited me to a meeting of your cabinet. The last time around, you had suspicions of me organizing a takeover. I assured you then, Madam Prime Minister, as I do now, that the Indian armed forces have no intentions of taking over your job. <laughs> if that is firstly, what is secondly? Secondly, at your cabinet meeting, I expressed my unwillingness to go to war immediately with Pakistan. I suspect you want my resignation. Madam Prime Minister, I only ask if I should cite personal or health grounds as reasons for my resignation. I do not want your resignation, Sam. On the, On the contrary, I want, I want your guidance. Sam, Sam as, as you know, West, West Bengal, Tripura, Tripura. Meghalaya and Assam are being, are being flooded by, by lakhs of refugees, and the, and the number, number is increasing day by day. 
My, my government is being for the sake of struggling to see this. At the same, same time, it would, it would be inhuman for me to turn them away. I am, I am aware, Madam President. More than two lakh people have been killed in East Pakistan. There is resistance from the, from the local militia, the Mukti Bahi. But they need our help. I stand by my advice, advice. Madam, Madam Prime, Prime Minister. Minister. We, we cannot, cannot fight, fight right, right now. Is, is my my for farming staff saying we cannot fight right now? We are not ready to go to war right now. Most of my armored and infantry divisions are deployed elsewhere. My tanks will be competing with our grain harvest for transport by rail. The Himalayan passes will open up with the monsoon, leaving us vulnerable to our northern neighbor. In East Pakistan, the rivers will become oceans. The entire terrain will become a swamp. You mean to say our forces are weaker than Pakistan? What are you saying, madam? Each of our jawans is equal to a hundred of theirs. We will wage war, but not just now. Not now, but the pressure is mounting. Cabinet wants a decision. Anger is growing in the people. This refugee issue is affecting our economy. And you are asking me to wait? Madam, do you want, you want me to fight the war, war or win the war? The war? Do, Do you, you expect, expect me, me to answer, answer that question? War, war is it's not, not just war. about attacking, but, but knowing when, when to attack. attack. Thank you. 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 Our northern boundary, boundary will be so covered, our, our neighbor there will not have an opportunity to open another front by joining the fight. the fight. What are you saying, Sam? Give me a few months' time. The only way this war can be fought and won under my watch are on my terms. I can then guarantee you a victory. Go ahead, Sam. You have never failed me. Go ahead. never rest or sleep so that the rest of the nation can enjoy that luxury <laughs> gentlemen you know the situation it is dire our prime minister has given us complete freedom to gear up for action so let's get to work Pakistan seems to be holding on the cards 
Operation Searchlight has destroyed the morale of East Pakistan. The Mukti Bahin is putting up a stiff resistance, while our husband will have backs to the wall. Moreover, the army has an entire fleet at their disposal. They are to reinforce the insert command with men, equipment, equipment armament, and, and ammunition. The naval command looks impressive on paper. It is take much of PC Lan, but if we work together, we can neutralize the fleet. But how, Admiral Nanda? We lack the firepower to sink all their ships. Oil. Oil. The lifeblood of a ship is oil. If we can take out all their fuel depots in Karachi, their fleet will become <laughs> rubber ducks in a bathtub. <laughs> Air Chief Marshal P.C. Lal, this is where your Air Force will come into play. You have my full support. Now to the international situation. The Americans are supporting the Pakistani military regime. Our Prime Minister has toured Germany, France, Britain, Belgium, the United States of America, and most importantly, Moscow. She has been arousing the world's conscience over all the butchering of innocents, the savagery of General Pika Khan, the butcher of Bengal, is now known around the world. Things have turned out quite badly for Tika Khan. He has been recalled to West Pakistan and replaced with Lieutenant General Niazi. Remember, Remember the Prime Minister's conditions. We, we should, should not be aggressive. aggressive. To avoid, to avoid international, international complications and prevent others, others from joining, joining the field, any, any war, war should, should be as brief as possible. This requires a brilliant tactician. Ladies and gentlemen, Jack Jacob. Yes, sir. You have, you have always been a bright ray of sunshine, even on the double say. Come on. Come on. You, have you have a flow. Sir. sir. Whoever, Whoever controls Tata controls the host, the host of, of East Pakistan. Pakistan. This war will be a race to Tata. So when we attack, it will have to be a blitzkrieg and a war of movement. You will still have to cross three wide rivers to get to Dhaka. Sir, I know Niazi's mind well. He boasts of his fortress concept of fortifying border towns and villages. It is a strong theory, but he has overlooked one very important factor. The love and support of the local people and the local militia, which we have, sir. They have an intimate knowledge, sir, of the terrain and the enemy. Sir, the Mukti Baini, they need training and equipment, sir. They need our support. Most importantly, the Pakistani Army, Navy, and Air Force do not trust each other. <laughs> That said, gentlemen, we have, we have our work cut out for us. For us. It's, not it's not going to be easy. With all, With all due respect, sir, we, we did not, did not take this job because we thought it would, it would be easy to do. Well said, Jacob. Well said. Once we start the offense, there will, there will be, be no pause. Without, without my, my written order. order. And, and that particular order, order I, I will never, never issue. Oh, my God. 
Chop top it. I am Puday. I am Puday. I am Puday. I ஜியா இப்ப நான் போயிட்டு வரா நாராயணா ஜெயிச்சு வேகம் திருச்சு வரும் Leave. 
If you cry like this, I want to remember your smiling face at the battlefield. My boy, Paris. My John, someday you will understand. Someday, he will do. <laughs> We have to retreat. Lance Knight, take off. We have to retreat. Retreat. Are you joking? Have you forgotten who we are? We are the Brigade of God. We will never retreat. Have you forgotten our motto? Pehla hamesa pehla. Ahead, always ahead. Dhaka is the heart of the Pakistan. And capturing Akhara railway station will cut off one of its arteries. But take off. The enemy seems to have unlimited ammo. That LMG is not allowing us to We are outnumbered. And outnumbered. I am not proud of the Nazi from the I am not proud of the protector of the Indian Army. We may be outnumbered and outgunned, but we will take them. You got them, Eka! You are too good as a marksman, Eka! <laughs> when they were playing with marbles, I was playing with my bow and arrow. And my game, hunting in the forest of Jharkhand. Cover me! Garo! 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 Congratulations, boys. We have captured our selecting force. Let's, Let's go. go on. What is, what is this number? Your stomach. This is this 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 bullets. We will go. go on. You can bring it. No, 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 Railway station is now ours. 
रोड टूटा ओपन Captain Masood, kya hua? Why are you so agitated? Sir, the, the Indian army, they have... Are they, haven't the jackals realized yet that the war is a lost cause? Or do I have to batter them further? Janab, listen. Please, Janab. Akora, Dokhandi and Chandpur have already fallen to the Indians. Chilahet and Chittagong are under siege. So they approach, so they approach us from the north. Northeast. Northeast. And the, and the south. They're led by one. They're led by one. Captain General, General, General Sabat. Sir, your carefully planned web of security has been breached. Before we know it, they will be in Dhaka. Hmm. Sagat Singh. I know that fellow. Seems like a capable warrior. But he doesn't know this Niazi. Captain. Inshallah, Sagat Singh will never see the western borders of the Meghna, let alone Dhaka. Sir, troops approaching from the north, east and south have to cross the treacherous waters of the river Meghna. The only way across that is that one kilometer long coronation bridge at Ashugan. That nodal point, oh, point is heavily is guarded heavily by, by, by elite troops. Elite troops. Sagat Singh and his troops are tired, tired the long from march. the long march. In your mad, mad rush, rush you're left, you're left behind the heavy artillery support. Far behind. Far behind. They don't have they the, don't the firepower, firepower will or the will to fight to my, fight my fresh, fresh Pakistani troops. No, Captain. No, Captain. Inshallah. Inshallah. Sagat Singh never never cross the land. Sir. Sir. They have penetrated to within 400 meters of the Ashugan bridge. And I'll explain the fire. Are you deaf? Didn't I tell you that Sagat will never cross the Meghna? The only way across the Meghna is that coronation bridge. I will blow it up. Sagat Singh and his troops can rot on the eastern sides of the Meghna, exhausting their supplies. Our allies will support us. Through a UN resolution, resolution, they will ensure, they will ensure India ceasefire and, and, and retreat, retreat with their tails between the legs. How long do you, long expect, do you expect this to take, sir? What does it matter? What does it matter? How long it takes? As long as, as, long I, long as, as I get my ammunition by road from the munitions factory at Jaidapur, just 30 kilometers north of Dhaka, I can wait as long as I want. And how long can the Indians wait? We can never lose this war. Take down my orders. Blow up that bridge across the Meghna. And let me see, let me see how well, how the, well sucker. the sucker swim. swim. <laughs> <laughs> he actually did it. That madman Niazi 
actually blew up the coronation bridge. <laughs> Sir, I have one doubt. Lieutenant General Sagat Singh reached Ashukanj. There is only one bridge across the Meghna. We have to cross the bridge to reach Dhaka. And yes, he has thrown it up. And General Sagat Singh still wants to cross the river. Sir, his target was to reach Meghna. A strong garrison of Pakistani army breached across the river at Bhairab Bija. He has no option but to wait for backup. <laughs> Do you think Lieutenant General Sagat Singh will be content to wait? So I just got up so from, from the wireless. General Sagat Singh, General Sagat Singh was flying. thought he as low to the ground as possible. Ground fire hit his pilot, Flight Lieutenant Sidhu. Are they okay? So the co-pilot coolly took over the controls and brought them back. Sidhu has been attended to. In this chaos, a bullet grazed General Sagat Singh's temple. Do you know what is he calling it? What, sir? A tilak from the army. <laughs> <laughs> the bridge is out of play. And there's no equipment to cross the river. Why is General Sagat Singh flying a sortie now? Sir, he is thinking out of the box, sir. He is crossing that river. Uh, but how, sir? There is no bridge and there are no boats. There will be a bridge. A heli bridge as he calls it. He's making a bridge out of MI4 helicopters. He's going to fly our soldiers across the river in batches. Maybe Raipura will suit for this. Is the Air Force backing his plan? So, Group Captain Chandan Singh will see to it that all 14 MI4 helicopters in his squadron are available for the heli bridge. But uh, an MI4 can carry 10, 12 people at a time. How is he going to manage? 10 to 12. No, sir. They'll start with 18. They're aiming at 23 by lessening their fuel loads. Our medium, Our artillery, medium artillery, artillery will also fly across, across the Meghna, sir. But this operation, but this operation will, have will have to be carried out at 10, 10 of night. How will the, How will the helicopters even know, even know where, to land? where to land? For this, For this every Indian every... people, rice, flour, and atta will play a role, sir. They're improvising a giant H out of flour on the ground, which will be led by Shielded field torches pointing to the sky. There. <laughs> General Sagat Singh truly has, truly has a unique challenge, challenge for war. Flexibility, Flexibility is, a is a principle of war. A good commander, a good commander must exploit the situation as, as they arise. And tanks, sir? Our PT 76 tanks are amphibious. But Meghna's current is furious. The entire breadth cannot be crossed in one shot. So, General Sagat Singh has ordered the tank to stop at the small islands in the river for engine cooling. My God! Looks like our race to Dhaka is heading from a sprint to a headlong rush. Sir, Brigadier Adi Irani will expect us to support his troops by sending our uh, troops up north to flank uh, Dhaka and come between the armament factory at Joydepur and Niyazi in Dhaka. Gentlemen, Gentlemen, this will be the, most, will be the most risky operation at dead of the night. Dead of the night. A, small a small team will have to cross, have to cross the swift current of the Turak River. The, Turak River. the weapons, the weapons have, been have been We have not yet established a foothold on the other side. Until we establish foothold, we shall avoid contact with the enemy. And all this in pin drop silence. At best, we can do is to help to create a diversion. Anyone up for this task? Sir, but how? We have no info about the enemy across the river. Sir, their armament factory in Jaidepur will be strongly defended. Our small team will be hopelessly outnumbered and outgunned, sir. Sir, I would like the honor of leading this mission, sir. Krish, I expected no less from you. Go ahead and select your team. Men, I will not ask you to join me. I will only tell you about Major Ian Cardoso. Uh, 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 u
Doctor, please help us. This is Major. Major Cardozo, you will have to be taken back to the base. No. No time now. The gangrene has already set in. Uh, and I don't want to be treated by this by Pakistani, Pakistani uh, uh, You need to have it. No! 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 Please don't make me do this. Then I have to do it myself. Give me. Give me. No, 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 no. With one Ian Cardozo, I will easily handle a thousand Pakistani soldiers. They may outnumber us, yes, but fewer the men, greater the share of glory. Old men forget, but I, but promise, I you, promise you, you will you remember, will remember this, day this day forever, forever with the same burning pride and honor you feel today. We men, we brave few, we band of brothers will be remembered forever by a grateful country. Who will join me? It will be easy to get separated in the dark. We'll tether ourselves with rope and cross in and groups, cross in groups to minimize, to minimize noise. noise. Once in, the Once water, in the water, each soldier, each soldier will be responsible for the life, for the life of the man in front and behind, and behind him. Sir, sir, we'll take a local, we'll take a local guide, guide, sir. Sir, let me go in front of you. In case there is any enemy fire, let me cover for you. Parade, you fool. Ninety people are placing their lives in my hands. How will they trust me if I don't lead them? I will be the first to step onto the water and the first, and the first to step, to step onto, 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 onto the other side. Other side. Sir, sir, we'll be ready to leave at nightfall, sir. Excellent. I will start laying down diversionary fire so that the Pakis don't suspect anything. Krish, come back to me Victoria. Victoria. Sir, sir, you will join, you will join me on the other show. Victoria, Victoria. once this mission, once this mission, mission is completed, done. sir. If Cardozo if cried in the agony of his pain, I promise you, before the end of this war, Niazi will cry in the agony, in the agony of his of shame. Thank you. 
Dorese, dorese, dorese. Sir, we actually got another one. We ambushed another truck carrying ammunition using cycles and rickshaws as a barricade. And they have no clue that we are here north of Dhaka. <laughs> Fareed, my dear fool, are you going to celebrate just because we fought off two waves of attack? There could be more. Are you going to celebrate just because we captured 37 vehicles? And two tanks? No, Fareed. We will celebrate when not even a single bullet gets past us to the Yazi. Sir, your idea, Sir, your idea, your idea of throwing our raincoat across the width of the road and walking on the work? There were no track of Whitmut on the road to alert any one of our presence here. <laughs> Wait, Chris, we found this laborer behind the truck. He says he wants to help us. A local? What is your name? Zul. Zul. I was, I was born in this village. I was a, I was a professor of electronics in the Dhaka University. When the Razakars and Pakistani armies started killing everyone in the university, I disguised myself as a shopping with, with, with my wife and daughter. I tried to escape. 
I was known as Professor Sajjad. Now I am called a slave and a and dog. A dog. Where are your Where are your wife and child now? Once a Once year. A year. I used, I used to bring them here to this village where down this, down this valley, valley of now wretched blood. blood. <laughs> they, 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 they were waiting for me in the paradise. paradise. <laughs> Sajad. Sajad. When you meet them in paradise, you will do so not as a slave, but as a proud Bangladeshi. You have my word. Tensa, Tensa. Hira, what happened to you? Were you captured by the Pakistanis? And where's your radio and wireless man? I have not been able to contact base. Sir, we got separated. I got lost. I lost my wireless and operator when we were crossing the river, sir. Hira, you blooming idiot. You have a radio with you even when you go to the toilet. And now when I need it the most, you seem to have lost it. How am I supposed to contact base and dial in the coordinates for the artillery support we need? Sorry, sir. Sorry. Sir, sir, I, I, I found this radio uh, in the truck. The Pakistani soldiers were using it. It was shot up, but I fixed it. Well done, Professor Sajjad. Well done. Now help Captain Hira, contact base. And once you've done that, immediately dial in the coordinates for the artillery telling. OK, just very good. I see our point man signaling. Somebody must be coming. Everybody back to your post. You took the bullet pen for me. Very good, yes, yes. Oh, you see, 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 Parish, 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 my brother, my brother. Put our face, Parish. Why has the firing stopped? Sir, the artillery has been told to stop firing. We have also been ordered to stop firing. Ordered to stop firing? Who will tell the running Pakistanis to stop firing? Sir, the headquarters says that we have to somehow get them to surrender. How will more than 300 surrender to just 88? But then... Hey. They don't, they know, don't our know our numbers. <laughs> but, then, but then, they don't, they know, don't our know our numbers. So look, Pakistani Jawano, aap charo taraf se ghere huye ho. Bas aapke aage aur koi chara nahi hai. You can either surrender or die. Take your weapons, lay them to the side, 
Put your hands on the top of your head. Your head. Come out Come into, into, into the open and form a circle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Remember, no, no, no. remember, surrender or die. So what's it going to be? Who leads you? I do. Major Muhammad Taki. Major, you needn't worry. Your men will be treated according to the Geneva Convention. And now, let's give our rifleman free. At least in the days. Start digging here. What are you doing? Paying our last respects to our departed brothers. Fareed will be buried. We also lost a Hindu. He will be cremated. Hey, Chukte! You see, their own major is arranging for the last trace of his men, and you simply sit here surrounded by a hundred dead Pakistanis. Fareed and Fareed! Stop! Stop! Sir, sir, our own officers, who are you, call your, you call your support, your support brother, brother. If only if if only you have to like you, need you. Be myself, be myself, be I'll quote a few words from our national poet, Tagore, my wife Sulu's statement. Hey. That, that will be our, will be our prayer for our departed brothers. brothers. Where the mind, where the is, mind without is without fear, fear and the head, and the held, head high. held high, where knowledge, where knowledge is, free. is free, where the world, where the world has, has not been broken into fragments, fragments by narrow domestic walls. Where words come out from the depths of truth and tireless striving stretches its arms towards perfection. Where the clear stream of reason has not lost its way in the dreary desert sands of, sands of dead habits. Where the mind, where the mind moves, moves forward, forward led by, led by the into ever into ever thought thought and action. And action. Into that, into that heaven, of heaven of freedom, my, my father, let my let country, my country awake. awake. Up, Major General Jack Ford Rafael Jacob of the Indian Army here to, see, here you, to see you, sir. Showman.
General Jacob, I cannot help but admire you. My border towns and villages were fortresses. A good plan, Lieutenant General Niazi. But the wind enters and sweeps around even the strongest fortress. <laughs> Hence our war movement. With local support, your fortified towns were bypassed. You started this war. You trained them with the Bainy. You even supplied them weapons. You turned this into a civil war. You deceived, you deceived us. us. Deceived, deceived you. You murdered, you murdered you by the millions. You burnt villages. Raped women. Women. No, sir. No, sir. We did not we create, not create the Mokni Baini. You, you did. We merely put we merely out the flame of the fire in Lithuania and Bangladesh. What Bangladesh? This is... East East Pakistan. Pakistan. Maybe you haven't heard, heard, sir. But India recognized Bangladesh, Bangladesh as an independent, as an independent nation sovereign nation on December 6th. Whatever you call it, as long as my army is here, this is East Pakistan. Now, let's get down to business. A resolution has been sent to the United Nations for a ceasefire and withdrawal of troops. I will at best accept a ceasefire and withdrawal of your troops under UN supervision with grace. 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 You burn you this, land this land and you speak, and you of, speak grace. of grace. No, sir. No, sir. That resolution, that resolution has, already has already been vetoed. General, General Jacob, you're forgetting, you're forgetting where you are. I, I, I have you, I have you killed. Dakar, 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 Lieutenant General Niazi, how long will your ammunition last? Ten, twelve days at the most. After that, what? Takai surrounded. surrounded. Your soldiers, the soldiers have already, already started surrendering. Karachi, Karachi Harbor is under blockade. Our air authority is complete. Uh, uh, no, uh, no, sir. This evening, this evening at the Roman Arms, you and you your and your will lay down your arms in full public view. You will also form a guard of honor. Lay down arms in full public view. <laughs> no, never. I will fight to the last soldier, to the last bullet. To a warrior's glorious death. Lieutenant General Niazi, as a soldier, as a soldier, I expect, I expect that to be a person who is in a shame. But think for a minute what will happen once you have fired that last bullet. The troops that the mighty body will rise from the field and the place will work away. They will do to you exactly what you did. Prevent it all with a simple signature. Signature? What signature? What is this? An instrument of surrender. Surrender. You have a sense of humor, Jacob. What I say is not new to you, Lieutenant General Niazi. But your young captains here may not know. Every officer of the Indian Army learns the Chet Ward motto. I quote. 
the safety, the safety honor, honor and, welfare and welfare of your country of your comes first, always and every time. The honor, welfare and comfort of the men you command comes next. Your own ease, comfort, comfort and, safety and safety comes last, comes last always, always and every time. Every time. They, they say, Lieutenant General Niazi, this, this war, war is, is over. over. You will not, you will not receive aid from air, from air sea, sea or land. Or land. You will you surrender, will surrender Pakistan's air, air naval, naval, and ground forces in a public ceremony to India's Lieutenant General Jagjit Singh Arora. You will also surrender your personal firearm to him. No. I will never do that. No. As a general in the Indian Army, I give you my word that your men will be treated with honor as prisoners of war. Think carefully, Lieutenant General Niazi, with the welfare of your men, of your in, men mind. in mind. I will return, I will return in 30, in 30 minutes, minutes if, if your answer, your answer is still no. I I will order my men to attack. You have, you have half, an hour half an hour to decide. To decide. We will have to lay down our weapons, sir. Yeah. A soldier must return home to a victory back. Otherwise, better to die in battle. Sir, but General Jacob's words are true. There is no chance of victory. The Mukti Bani will lynch us. At least. We have a chance, a chance to, die to die in battle. In battle. But what is but to be, be gained from, from that, sir? My soul, my soul, the war, 100,000 Pakistani soldiers that stayed. And then there are their wives and their children. Children! You have this, you one, have this chance one chance to save them, them sir. Allah! Allah! I have been taught in the army that it's better to cut off one's own head than to bow it down before someone in surrender. 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 The act of, of shame. Go down. Go down. For generations. For generations. What will the people, will the people want to start think? That the fear, that the fear of, this life of this life may General Niazi kneel before the Indian army, what will I tell the people of Pakistan? That to save the heads of my men, I had to bow my own. They didn't surrender. They didn't surrender. Sir, Sir. <coughs> you always said you always... a soldier should not act emotionally, but logically. We cannot win this war, Janab. No help is coming. The enemy is at our gates. The fate of our men and their families is in your hands. But, but surrender? No. No, never. So, so now. Surrender is inevitable, sir. Surrender is necessary, necessary sir. sir. To save to the life, save of, the life of our men and their families. And their families.
Oh, oh who will, will you remember, you remember me? me? That general. That general. Me, me, Abdullah Al-Yazi. Who accepted, accepted defeat. Without fighting, without fighting to the last bullet. To the bitter end. To the bitter end. No, sir. No, sir. The general of general the army of the army of the army who saved the lives of the army under his command by not by fighting, not fighting to the last bullet and bitter end. The Indian Army is in Bangladesh. Your Air Force has been destroyed. You are surrounded on all sides. And if you don't surrender, you will be killed unmercifully. Vijay Divas observed annually on December 16th marks India's historic win in the 1971 war leading to the birth of Bangladesh. December 16, 1971 witnessed a historic surrender. 93,000 Pakistani troops laid down their arms. After World War II, this was the largest surrender in recorded history. General Niazi removed his medals and badges and surrendered his revolver to Lieutenant General Jagjit Singh Arora. People say that General Niazi had tears in his eyes at that moment. The faces of his soldiers were forlorn. A part of the brave souls from Bangladesh who lost their lives fighting for their country, almost 4,000 Indian soldiers made the supreme sacrifice. From this war emerged the stories of extraordinary courage too. The total of 1,313 Indian soldiers from the Army, Navy and Air Force were conferred gallantry awards, including four Param Veer Chakras. The names and deeds of bravery of Param Veer's Lance Nayak Albert Eka, Second Lieutenant Arun Ketharpal, Flying Officer Nirmal Jit Singh Sekhon, and Major Hoshiyat Singh should inspire generations to come. Among the soldiers who returned home triumphant were almost 10,000 injured, many of them disabled. And so we remember with humble gratitude the incredible sacrifices of men like Ativisisht Seva Medal and Sena Medal awardee Major General Ian Cardozo and the hundreds of others who fought. And after the development in Operation Vijay, 1971. I congratulate the Mukti Bahini and the people of Bangladesh on their freedom. I acknowledge the role that India has played in this struggle and recognize with gratitude the sacrifice made by the Indians. I now request all of you to stand with me in tribute to those noble souls who have made that supreme sacrifice in this war.
The last post will be played, followed by a short period of silent moment. Thereafter, the notes of the racing will be played, after which you may resume your seat. Ladies and gentlemen, dancers. Check. Ladies and gentlemen, I request you all to please remain seated till the national anthem. We will now be acknowledging the actors, the performers. Ladies, go. Go, 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 go. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being such a wonderful audience. It's an honor for us to perform before you. And I'd like to invite on stage our mentor, our director, the person behind everything that you see, the person that motivated us, the person that encouraged us, pushed us to bring you this great show. Ladies and gentlemen, give a big hand to our director, SBS Raman. Thank you, Thank you all so much. This is an obligatory duty of the director to introduce the cast and crew. First, first, thank you for being a lovely audience. Before, uh, before, uh, I, I, before before that, that, I thank you for being the lovely audience that you are. Uh, uh, I thank our producers, LCC Ugang Tamil Chapter, and the director of the show, Major General Kendra I would request a new answer for the new and and then the on stage. And even when they do so, it is my pleasant duty to do the following. 
Most of the other products can be presented without an efficient vaccine support, and in this time, time three three one 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 Nidish Kumar and dancers from his dance company in the Shah. Lovely job. Bangladeshi old man and refugee Raja Man Singh, Bangladeshi party worker, cabinet minister, and the field doctor, 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 doctor. Uh, I'm sorry, Satya, that was Satya, Omar Sham Prasad, Bangladeshi shopkeeper, and Gurkha, Navneet, Bangladeshi policeman, Pakistani sol uh, soldier, and Indian soldier, Niyan. Pakistani soldier and Indian soldier Prasanna. Pakistani soldier, Indian soldier, and Albert Eka. Raj Bharat Baramulvedi. Come on, Raj. Take a bow. Pakistani soldier, Indian soldier, and Major Thaki. Vaidishwaran. Farid's grandson, Grand Pakistani, Pakistani soldier, soldier, Indian soldier, and Major Thaki. Abami League Party Worker, Professor Sajjad's wife, Cabinet Minister, Captain Hira's mother, Ratna. Colonel Nayan's daughter, Shakti, Sanjana Sulo Krishnaswami, Dharma Raman, my wife. Farid's wife, Zarina, Sneha. <laughs> Captain Masood, Sadhajiba. Professor Sajjah, Ms. Parmeshwar. Admiral Nanda, Ramabhadra. Air Marshal B.C. Lal, Suri Menon. Chief of Army Staff Sergeant Shah, Mrs. Indra Gandhi, Roshan Puncha, Sheikh Mujibur Rehman, Balaji Kipurti, Lance Nayak Farid, Aditya, Captain Hira, Shubh Mukherjee, Lieutenant Colonel Nair, Colonel Ram, yeah. Lieutenant General Niazi, Radha Krishnan. Yeah. Lieutenant General Jacob, Michael Mutu. Yeah. Major Krish, Vinod Anand. Yeah. Now, much of what you saw enacted in this play is available in the public domain. The challenge was to condense the volume of available information into a bite-sized chunk for a mixed audience. In this, I was joined by my son, Surya Raman, please join me on stage, in writing the script for this great play. Storytelling necessitates a protagonist, a hero, if you please. Around Around the writer, writer, can be narrated. Narrated. No writer, no writer or director can do this to the actual heroic exploits or vivid recall of an interviewee from Adayar, Chennai. We have called Major Krish in the docudrama you just saw. The real life Major Krish of Charlie Company, 10 Jack Rifles, is happily present with us. Yeah. Please put your hands together and join me in welcoming to the stage Veer Chakra. And, and twice, 
A standing ovation from the audience, if you please, for this great person. Thank you. Oh, uh, before I hand over the proceedings to Major General Indra Balan, I have the greatest of pleasure in requesting Major Krishna of our Rama to honor his real life, Colonel Mahabur, on behalf of his creation and all of us. Thank you. 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 The team of actors and technicians who work hard to present the DVD. Thank you. Thank you. I now welcome the person who conceptualized and, and created the play, the play and who and was untiring and the stage of three shows in Hindi and now this English adaptation. May I present Chief of NCC Udan, Major General M. Indra Balan. Honorable Justice Sri Sanjay Vijaykumar Gangaurpurwala, Chief Justice of Madras High Court. Honorable Justice Sri Krishna Rangaswamy, Air Marshal Vardhaman, Major General Ajay, Ajay Su, Inspector General Johnny Michael of the Commander. Coast Guard Region East, Sri Manjit Singh, Secretary General of Guru Nanak College, Senior Military Veterans, Distinguished Guests, Members of the Government, the Military, Academia, Industry, Intelligentsia, members of the media, beloved students, and the youth of India, ladies and gentlemen. My heart today is filled with joy and pride to welcome you all for this grand show put up by S.B. Raman and company. We are, of course, humbled by the presence of such eminent personalities. If I start naming you all, I think we'll spend an evening just to name each one of you who are present here. But I'll avoid that and spare you that little time. But I must acknowledge the presence of large number, a good number of military veterans, war veterans who have served in 1971 war they are present here amongst us. And you will get to them too. too. At the outset, I cannot but resist the temptation to compliment Mr. S.B.S. Raman, the director and the entire team of artists for a superlative performance. They nearly brought the war to the stage. And Mr. Manjit, sir, 
please bear with us for the collateral damages. Indo Pak War 1971 holds India on a high moral ground of justice and nobility on many counts. That has not been adequately recognized by the world at, all, at large and is also little known to our new generation. India liberated and oppressed East Pakistan from its tyrannical ruler, the West Pakistan, and gave birth to the Republic of Bangladesh. Despite complete victory, unlike other invading nations, we did not occupy or colonize East Pakistan. <laughs> India rarely eulogized the valor, victory, and sacrifice of its armed forces. The Indian Army facilitated honorable surrender and safe transfer of 93,000 Pakistani soldiers as POW as per UN Convention, which is a rare military gesture. And to top it off, top it all, India humanely treated millions of refugees during the war, despite the fact that we were ourselves a developing, if not an underdeveloped nation. These facts of India need to be told to, told our, new to our new generation. generation. So that they so decide in, in the country and they decide in what work they, 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 they do and they decide future for India. Coming back to the theatre play, birth of Bangladesh under the banner of Operation Vijay in 1971 is a humble attempt to awaken India to its own nobility. And through this unique creative medium, by portraying the saga of victory and valor of Indian armed forces, a common thread and a binding force of our nation. Time has come to showcase the splendor and grandeur of Bharat through this noble war to our young generation and the world at Raj, especially in the context of emerging threats to world peace. As the, As August, the August audience, audience would, have would have noticed, Lieutenant General A.K. Niazi, the commander, the commander of, of Pakistani, Pakistani forces in East Pakistan, is the, the protagonist of this play. play. Notwithstanding not the, the hero of the play, of the play Colonel, Colonel Krish. And the climax, and the climax is, built is built around, around a recreated dialogue between General Niazi and Major General J.F.R. Jacob, the then Chief of Staff of Eastern Command. It is not a coincidence. We have attempted to take the message of India as a victorious nation and a messiah of peace to the world through the powerful narration of these two pivotal characters. After watching the splendid performance of Mr. Radha Krishnan as General A. K. Niazi and Mr. Mutraman as General J.P.R. Jacob, I am tempted to give my humble opinion on whose performance were more extraordinary. But, but I dare I not. Did not. Especially, especially when, when, especially when, when there, is there is a two, two bench, bench judge, judge sitting, sitting in front, in front to, express to express that. that. And that too, headed by the Chief Justice of Madras High Court. I hope, sir, you will be able to give your decree, which I feel is very difficult. While each of the actors performed exceptionally well and brilliantly, I am tempted to compliment another set of characters who played the role brilliantly, and that is Indira Gandhi. Mujibur Rahman, please raise your hands again. Now, of course, you can recognize Captain Hira, General Sam Maneksha, And many, of course, I can't, if I name again, I think it will be endless. So please pardon me for not naming just the names. But I also want to mention someone who's here, Mrs. Ratna, who's daughter of Brigadier Gopal, who was lost 
declared as missed in action during 1971 war and she has performed in front of you fortunately his father returned from war when they had no hope and that motivated her to do this performance and here i risk my opinion to express uh to i risk uh to express my opinion on my personal favorite and that i think goes to none other than mr vinod anand he has fitted into the shoes of an army officer possibly more than an army officer in battle rest i leave it to kal krishna swami's discretion well without taking any more time i shall leave the difficult job of passing their judgment on the play as a whole and the performance of the two characters i mentioned and rest of them to my lords and the chief justice of madras high court jai hind jai bharat thank you sir i would now, now like to welcome our honorable dignitaries onto the stage please i call upon shri govind narayan goel general manager sbi Shri Aman Reddy of Unify Capital, General Secretary and Correspondent of Guru Nanak College, Shri Manjit Singh Nayar, I welcome on stage Honorable Chief Justice of the Madras High Court, Shri Sanjay Vijay Kumar Ganga Purwala. Please be seated, sir. I now request the General Indra Balan to present our chief guest with a memento and traditional shawl as a token of our appreciation, please. Okay, there's the bouquet. Now, now I request the chief guest, Honorable Chief Justice, to present Colonel Krishna Swami with a memento, please.
थैंक यू We wouldn't have been able to pull this off without their support, and last but not the least, Sri Aman Reddy of Unify Capital. Thank you so much. I now request our chief guest, Honorable Chief Justice, to please honor the curator of the play, Major General Indra Balan. Chief of NCC Udan. We have a few felicitations that would be done by the General Secretary and correspondent of Guru Nanak College, Mr. Manjit Singh Nayar. After our chief is felicitated. Mr. Manjit Singh Nayar would like to present our chief guest with an angavastram and memento. Thank you. He will also be presenting a memento to a very special guest amongst us, Justice Mr. Krishna Ramaswamy. So can we please have you on stage? Thank you. That's the Guru Nanak College logo that you see on the Angavastram. Our next felicitation by Shri Manjit Singh will be the Commandant of OTA. Is he here? The Deputy Commandant. Yes, sir. Deputy Command OTA, Major General Ajay Sood. We also have with us Inspector General Donnie Michael, PM, Regional Commander, Coast Guard East. Last but not the least, we would like to acknowledge the presence of J. Ranganathan, Council General, Myanmar. Is he here? He's here. Can we? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, sir. Please take your seat. It gives me immense joy and pride to announce that we are honored to have with us today a few of the 1971 war veterans who valiantly served in the armed forces during the war and made India victorious. I request you to kindly rise at your respective seats so that we can see you. Yeah. 
Yes, we have. Let's rise to our feet, one and all, and give them a standing ovation, please. Yeah. Uh, the, the Honorable Chief Justice has requested the war veterans of 1970 war to kindly come on the stage. Let's help them. Go ahead. Go ahead, help them. Ladies and gentlemen, please give them a louder round of applause. Here are the real heroes. Thank you for your selfless service. Your bravery will forever be remembered. Ladies and gentlemen, after the program, I invite you to share your experiences with them, with the, you know, actual wartime experiences with them. You're welcome to meet and greet them. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Can we have the moment that we've been waiting for? I welcome our chief guest to please address the gathering. Honorable Chief Justice of the Madras High Court. Very good evening, everyone. Brother Justice Krishnarang Vaswami, Air Marshal S. Vartaman, Major General Indra Balan, Colonel Krishna Swami, Mr. Manjit Singh, Secretary, Secretary General Guru Nanak College, Dr. Vila Shankar, Secretary NCC Udan, the dignitaries on the dais. The war veterans and the members of this August gathering. At the outset, I thank the organizers for inviting me and giving an opportunity to be amongst all of you. People close to me say that I am I do not emit emotions. I'm not an emotional person. But today, I must confess that sentiments got better of me today. I ask a question to myself, whether there could have been a better performance that which we have witnessed. And the answer is in the negative. Sir, you are all fantastic. You are stupendous. You brought the visuals of the 1971 war in front of our eyes. Today I stand before you to commemorate a pivotal moment in the history of our nation, Operation Vijay of 1971. This operation undertaken by the Indian Army marked a watershed moment, not only in our military history, but also in our struggle of sovereignty and peace. 
in the backdrop of millions of displacement and human rights violation, India decided to intervene to support the cause of freedom and justice. Operation Vijay was not merely a military campaign. It was a manifestation of our commitment to uphold the principles of democracy and self-determination. Our brave soldiers, sailors, and airmen displayed unparalleled valor and determination as they embarked on this mission. With meticulous planning and unwavering resolve, our forces executed swift and decisive maneuvers across land, sea, and air. The campaign showcased the synergy and coordination between different branches of military exemplifying the prowess of Indian armed forces. The success of Operation Vijay not only led to the liberation of our neighboring country, but also served as a testament to the spirit of unity and resilience of our nation. It reinforced the belief that justice and freedom will always triumph over oppression and tyranny. Despite complete victory, India did not occupy or colonize the foreign soil. Friends, I believe that our soldiers fight the opponent not because the opponent is their enemy, but because they want to safeguard the countrymen behind them. I salute you all for your sacrifices. Thank you, Jai Hind. Thank you so much, sir. And before we move on to the vote of thanks, I request all the artists to please join us on the stage for a group picture. All those who are there on the side wings, could you please join us for a group picture? And as they post for the picture, I request Dr. Leela Shankar, Secretary of NCC Udan Tamil Nadu, to please enter the vote of thanks. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, Honorable Chief Justice of Madras High Court, and the distinguished audience. Sir, greetings from NCC Udan. I have been directed to keep my vote of thanks to less than two minutes which is impossible considering the overwhelming support and response in this noble initiative that is received today. While thanking the August audience for being so responsive and encouraging, I thank the Honorable Chief Justice and members of the jury for sharing their valuable time to encourage our humble effort. We thank the war veterans, the military veterans, distinguished members of the civil society, academia, their media for their strong support, post and pre-press, our special gratitude to Gurunana College, SBI, Unify Capital for this noble initiative. Also to Gulmohar Mohitri, who planted the seed earlier for this banyan tree to grow larger. Easy go and templing for partnering in many ways. Most of all, the NCC cadets, and the entire team from Gurunana College, thank you so much. Most of all, I thank and compliment SB Creations for putting up such a wonderful and enthralling performance. Jai Hind. Not more than two minutes. Not more than two minutes. No? The standing order. The order that two minutes rule applies to me also. 
the actual Krish is me and the theater Krish is there. He did a much better job than me, I can tell you. His emotions, his manner in which he did the whole acting presentation, I think was superb. I merely told him the story what I did, but he has done a marvelous job. My compliments to him. I owe a debt of gratitude to the producer who came to my house with his wife, listened to the whole story, and that's the end of it, and I do not know what he did with it. Look at the presentation that he has done. Marvelous. The entire team, A. Marshal Vardaman, who was the first one to interview me, and I gave that interview to them to see what, to understand what the story was. And they have grasped it so well, presented it so well, that I take my hats off, my salute to you. And I thank A. Marshal Vardaman for doing that brilliant interview, sir. Thank you very much for the honor that has been bestowed on me today. At 87, I don't think I deserve anything more than this. Thank you very much. And as the last person to be thanked, I, ex I request uh, well, half a minute. I would like to thank our MC, Ms. Danya, who has done a wonderful job in comparing and presenting the whole show starting from finish. Thank you, Ms. Danya. And with this, I hand it over to her. Thank you for being the perfect audience, I must say that. And uh, I call upon the NCC cadets of Guru Nanak College to give us the national anthem. Request everyone to please rise. Um, well, immediately after the national anthem, uh, the Honorable Chief Justice will be leaving. But those of you who wish to interact with the war veterans and uh, particularly the children are welcome to do that. We'll have them on the stage or down to interact with them. Thank you for your patience. Punjab, Sindhu, Gujarat, Maratha, Dravida, Utkala, Banga, Vindhya, Himachala, Yamuna, Ganga, Utsala, Jala, Sitaranga, Sabha, Shubha, Name, Jahe, Sabha, Shubha, Ashisha, Mahe, Jahe, Sabha, Jaya, Dasa, Janagana Mangala Dai, Jaya He Bharata Bhagya Vidata, Jaya He, Jaya He, Jaya He, Jaya 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 He. Thank you. Jaya He. Thank you and good night.